it's an odd night. You know, you, you're out there, you're trying to win a basketball game, and then all of these other rules, coaches are having conversations in the middle of the game at, at center court. What was this like for you as compared to just a regular regular season game? Uh, I mean, to be honest, it was, I mean, a little weird. Um, but uh, the ultimate goal was to come out and get a win tonight. And that's what we did. You guys talking, like, amongst yourselves? Because Joe said that you, you guys, as a team, didn't have a conversation. But you guys, as players, kind of knew coming in, right, that 23 points was the the goal. So it, it was just something like you guys kind of said, OK, we know we got to do this. It's tough because, uh, I mean, that's just not how the game is supposed to be played, you know. Um, one, you got to respect your opponents, and and two, like you know, it's just we're set up. You know, we understand the rules, but like if I was another team, I'd be upset as well if we were doing, you know, the hack of drumming in the middle of the fourth quarter. But you know, um, our coaching staff made their decisions, and we we stick with it. Are, are you guys talking to like the Bulls while it's going on, being like? Kind of like sorry, but this is how it is. Are you guys talking to each other? Yeah, it ain't really nothing much to say. You know, um, it's the league who's put the emphasis on this tournament as well that we all agree to. We all know the rules, so it's definitely a different setup. Um, a lot of adjustments going on, but kind of is what it is at this point. Drew was just saying he, he wasn't a fan of checking back in, not that it was anything that like the coaching staff was doing. Because like you said, these are the rules, but just kind of from a competitive nature, you're obviously guys involved in discussions with the league. Is this something, you know, this is the first time we've seen this. Is this something you think uh, you'd want to have conversations with the league about kind of moving forward now that you've seen it in action? Because you're not the first person to have this kind of reaction to it. For sure. It's the, it's the first time for everybody. You know, it's not like something that's been going on for the last 10 years. Um, this is new, so it's going to be some adjustments. It's going to be some things that are different, and I guess it's trial and error. I think we, like you said, you kind of see what the the reactions are, um, the feedback, positive or negative, and they, they, I'm sure they'll assess it and look at it and maybe change it around for next year or potentially get rid of it. it just just depends on you know how things go. The whole ultimate goal was it to just increase the increase the you know intensity and level of competition there around this time of the year. And I think that that is that has happened, you know, for the most part. Um, if people are aware, you know, the color of the court, you know, helps market it. But the games have been a lot better at this time. It feels like at least, but you know, they assess, we assess, and we go back and we make decisions as a union and as as a league. Jalen is. I mean, are you okay with the change? Like the, the kind of the mentality of having to run up the score, playing on different courts. Uh, looking at point differential, is that something that you guys are creatures of habit? And this is totally against all of our, you know, habits. We've never done this before. So how do you feel about the kind of the change in thinking? Uh, you know, personally, I don't really have a comment on it. Um, I think that, you know, the agenda has been to to try to increase competition, to increase revenue, to kind of make it, you know, I guess more – um, exciting um, during this time of year, but you know, I don't have a comment. But I will say that honestly, if if you know, it's a line between increasing, you know, excitement, revenue, notoriety, whatever, and compromising like you know ethics and of the game, you know, and it's a balance. Um, this is kind of the first that we've uh, kind of seen this, um, but I'm sure we'll um, there'll be a lot of conversations going around. Um, that I get to like some some decisions, but you know that's all I'll say about it. Jalen, uh, Joe said he wanted to put Drew in more of a free safety role on defense tonight. He's you know, he's someone that kind of just does a little bit of everything on defense. How has the process been of figuring out like how he likes to defend and how you guys fit that in the defense you've been playing for a long time? I think it's been great. Drew's been great. You know, you know Drew's versatility, what he's been known for, I think has helped me. I think all year. I think this is probably one of my better defensive years on the ball and off the ball. I think I've, you know, definitely picked up off of his energy. So anytime Drew is, you know, on the floor making those reads, I've definitely learned a lot and, you know, and I'm looking forward to our growth as a team. But Drew's versatility has been key. And just his energy level, his presence on the defensive end, I think has, you know, 
also helped me be, you know, an, a, a better defender um, this year because I, I think I've been doing a good, a, a lot better job in that area.